Oh, whoa, that was awesome. Can we eat him? No, it'd be murder. What are you, stupid? Oh. Well, we're gonna make all of that with Wiggle. Like a pro. Pizza eater. Subscribe and let me show you how. What? What's with the new look? I had some work done, okay? Looks like the work did you. You might have heard of Wiggle before. Like that Jason Drulo song, it makes things wiggle and shake. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here's a simple comp. Let's break it down. This is our grade layer. Then we have two images, a kernel and a popped one. It doesn't look that great on its own, so we'll use the wiggle expression to make it crispy. Select the layer and hit P. Hold Alt or Option key and stop watching. We're gonna type in wiggle, open bracket, 10, comma, 20, close bracket. And instantly we've got some movement. But what's happening here? The first value is the frequency and the second is the amplitude. You can make the wiggle you like by tweaking these two values. Cool, but it's not pro yet. Look, it starts right away and ends where the layer ends. We want to control it instead. Create a new null layer and name it control. And make it a guide layer too. Then add two sliders and name them Frequency and Amplitude. Go back to your wiggle expression and select the first value. Now we can use the whip tool and link it to the frequency slider. Next we're gonna do the same to the second value. Why isn't it moving? Well, because our slider values are zero. See? Now that we're dealing with sliders, we can keyframe those f I'm gonna ease in and out the keyframes and use the graph editor to shape the speed. Do the same with the amplitude slider. And we get something like this. Is that it? Mm, no. But there's more. Go back to your wiggle expression again and copy it. Now stopwatch the scale property and paste the expression there. It's gonna go crazy. The value is just too much. Lower it down by dividing each value by, eh, let's say three. Next, I'm gonna give the popped image the same expression to have them moving in sync. To stop the wiggle, I'll add a few more keyframes to the sliders and shape their speed. Now that's much better. To make it pop even more, let's add a turbulent displacement. Make the amount 10 and size 200. Then copy the same wiggle expression to the evolution property and switch cycle evolution on. Not much will happen here because the value is just too small. Like tiny. Multiply it by 20 and you'll see the difference it makes. Now the kernel looks like it's really under pressure. One last tiny detail to add is to use the wiggle expression again, but this time in the rotation value of the popped layer. Simply paste it in and it's ready to go.
We went from this to this with just a wiggle expression. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and subscribe so I won't miss you. Oh, and uh, the link to the project file is in the description so you can play around with it if you want. Ooh, that was awesome. I'm still quite new to YouTube, so I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like on this video. Just don't click it twice. I think they know how to YouTube. Catch you in the next one.